Were you building robots in high school? As part of the first robotics competition, these kids are. They're members of the Westmont High School robotics team and are some of the nearly 70,000 students around the world that participated in this year's robotics competition organized by FIRST. This year's challenge was called Aerial Assist. The teams were shown an animated video with the concept of a ball being thrown. They were then given a kit with some parts and had six weeks to build a robot that could pick up, toss, and pass a ball to another robot. The first two weeks we spent brainstorming and prototyping. From those we decided we were going to go with the catapult and the rolling intake. The robots used a compressed air system to fire a large red ball in the air. Together with a robot from another high school, they tried to play catch, shooting a ball from the jaws of one into another. The ball sometimes hit their target, sometimes missed, but spectators seemed to enjoy the show. The robots may appear to be doing something simple, but programming these functions was difficult for the students. We had uh, issues trying to figure out how do we load, catch, and fire in one system. Adult mentors helped the students and company sponsors gave money and additional parts at a discount. And while the competition is important, what it's really all about is getting kids exposed to science and engineering. Definitely first has influenced me in my desire to go into engineering. And actually one thing first also influenced me to go into business because as president this year I've had to run a team I have to do with project management and working with a lot of people. I enjoyed that too. For the IDG News Service, I'm Melissa Aparicio.